On today's show, we have a St. Peter statue, an Our Lady of Palestine stone tile, and the St. Rita feature film on DVD, and much, much more here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of EWTN's Religious Catalog. And I'm very happy again today to be joined by my friend Rebecca Amos. Rebecca, how are you today? I'm doing great. It's great being with you. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And we have a lot of really mm -hmm. terrific holy reminders to show everyone today. We do. That I'm really excited about. I am too, excited to shop as always. Yes, yeah. yes, and to learn more about the faith through these holy reminders. That's right. So let's Absolutely. get going. So since we are still in the Marian month of May, we're going to be celebrating Our Lady of Perpetual Help. The Byzantine style icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help is believed to have been printed in the 13th century, and it represents the Mother of God holding the Divine Child while the archangels Michael and Gabriel present him the instruments of his passion. The icon, which is currently housed at the church of St. Alphonsus Liguri in Rome, is a constant reminder to us all that Mary will always be there to help the whole of the Catholic Church. So, we wanted to show you the Our Lady of Perpetual Help canvas transfer. This canvas transfer with hand embellishments is displayed in a rich burgundy and gold wood frame that measures 17 inches by 21 inches. You know, Rebecca, I think that we can talk about the significance of the archangels being in this icon because if we have to remember that the archangel Gabriel is the one that announced to Our Lady that she would conceive our Lord in the womb, that she would be the mother of the Son of God. And, and then also the Archangel St. Michael. It's important because he's the one who initially threw Satan down to hell. And we know that our Lord is the one who definitively conquers Satan and his false kingdom on the cross, mm -hmm. his passion, death, and resurrection, and who at the end of the world will definitively bind Satan and all the demons in hell, and they will no longer have any power in the world or over God's children. And so wow. it's, I think it's very significant that we have the archangels there because they certainly knew, even from the time our Lord was conceived in the womb, they knew exactly who he was and the importance of his mission. And you also can see how beautiful it would look on your home wall. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous on our set and the colors, it's elegant. It would be beautiful in a dining room, mm -hmm. absolutely lovely. And as we've been speaking of, we always need perpetual help and that prayer to be there, just to say, please help us to Our Lady, pray for us. It's so beautiful. And because it is so beautiful, it captures our eyes, mm -hmm. and so it can then remind us to ask for Our Lady's intercession to help us. And we also have an Our Lady of Perpetual Help statue. And this hand-painted plaster of Paris statue measures 24 inches and is imported from Peru. It really is an elegant statue. It is uh, very majestic looking, which is, which is exactly what, of course, Our Lady is majestic because she's the Queen of Heaven and uh, holding her divine child, the King of the Universe. I really I love, love that this. statue. Yeah. And it is a large piece. It makes a statement. It's something you'd want to put in the center of your home somewhere very special because it commands attention and it really does draw your heart closer to our Lord and Our Lady. And really the colors, you can't say enough about the blues and the rich mm -hmm. burgundy color there. Yeah. So I know everyone's thinking at home, okay, I know where I can put that now. So. Yeah. And put it in the middle where, you know, where we can see it because it does capture the eye and so if you have non-catholic friends or family at home and they see and they walk into the room i think their eyes will naturally gravitate towards this beautiful statue and which is which is of course going to get them thinking absolutely and you say yeah. this over and over again i'm very touched by it about how we can speak to people through these things we don't mm -hmm. have to say it with words but with the beauty and that's what we have here so many 
beautiful selections to choose from. And this is a favorite right there. I absolutely love it. Would love to have a place for that in my home. Definitely, definitely. Well, and we also have an Our Lady of Perpetual Help rosary. This rosary consists of seven millimeter marbled burgundy glass beads, a pewter crucifix, and a full color picture medal of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I really love these beads. They're very smooth and um, again, the whole rosary kind of has a little bit of like an Eastern feel to it, which is what uh, this icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help has on it. I love it. In red, you think mm -hmm. of love and you think of all these wonderful feelings, certainly the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so that's so elegant, again, for a man or a woman. It's the perfect exactly. gift. Exactly. Yep. It definitely is. We have so many choices, but that really is a gorgeous rosary. We hope people will look into that one and, and mm -hmm. consider bringing mm -hmm. that home. Definitely. Well, Ryan, we've been talking about perpetual help and all those beautiful things that you were showing, the details of that picture. We had this beautiful Our Lady of Perpetual Help medal. Now, the good thing is that we have the various colors, whether you like to have the gold look or the white metal look. The first one is gold filled on a 20 inch gold plated chain, a very durable chain. And this is where, again, you see Our Lady of Perpetual Help it's a beautiful holy reminder and it would be great for a man or a woman, a very good quality. And so this would be great for the feast day or for anyone once again that has that special devotion to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And certainly when I've gone into various churches and she's honored there, I always think once again that this is so special because this is something we all can understand that we do need help in our everyday lives. And here is that white metal that we were talking about. This one is sterling silver on, again, a 20 inch chain. It's beautifully detailed. All of these metals are, this measures seven eighths of an inch in diameter. And when you look at this for a man or a woman, it would be great and you really do have a nice look as far as the size of this metal. If you're wearing this, you certainly can see that it is Our Lady, it is Our Lord. And some people like something a little more subtle, but this is right in between. It would be perfect for a man or a woman, for work, for school. And since it's got the durable chain, it would be great even if you're out with the kids playing. You don't have to worry about it at all. It will hold up. You wear it all the time. Absolutely. So now we have the St. Gerard Medal. It's a combination of Our Lady of Perpetual Help on one side and St. Gerard on the other. And if you're not familiar with St. Gerard, he is a very powerful saint. He's the patron saint of expectant mothers. And St. Gerard, you can see here in this very small medal, is shown in sterling silver. It measures three quarters of an inch and it comes on this full 18 inch stainless steel chain. It'd be a wonderful gift. Perhaps you're looking for something for a woman who's expecting a baby, going to a baby shower, whether it be her first child or her fifth, this would be great. And it's just one of those things where she can think about, I'm going to pray for protection. I'm gonna to pray to all the saints, but certainly St. Gerard for a safe pregnancy, a safe birth and for a happy, healthy child. So very beautiful. And I wasn't mm. that familiar with St. Gerard, so it's really nice to hear that that's just someone else we can turn to. And Definitely. So, mm -hmm. And so very beautiful. Now, one place in the world today that needs our prayers when we look all over the world, the Middle East, and certainly Palestine. Our Lady of Palestine is seen here in a couple of items that we have. We want to show you this beautiful stone tile. This six inch stone tile features on it Our Lady of Palestine. It was originally painted by Charles Busseron Chambers, and it's often it's referred to as the Norman Rockwell of Catholic art, his works are. The tile has a smooth textured surface. It has a matte finish. And we also have along with it something else we want to show you if you're not looking for tile. And this is great if you want to put it on a stand in your house or if you want to put it on the wall. It would be absolutely a gorgeous piece to have. But for those of you that want something more traditional with the image, we have this big, beautiful picture of Our Lady of Palestine in this lovely frame. 
and all the details for this, if you want a big piece to honor Our Lady, it's in decorative gold wood frame. It's under glass. It measures 14 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches. It's all ready to go, ready to hang. And all you have to do is, is put a hook on it and the hook is back here, as a matter of fact, now. And it's ready to go on the wall. It's made right here in the USA. And it's one of those pieces that you'll enjoy and it will bring up conversation because we should care about other people, other places in the world, and certainly the Holy Land of all places. And so we can look to Our Lady of Palestine and it can allow us to think about not only how we could pray for the people of the Holy Land and for peace, but certainly she falls into refugees and so many other causes in the world today that we should have close to heart. What do you think about this piece? This painting is striking. It really is. I love it. And Our Lady's face in this painting is so beautiful. Well, absolutely. Yeah. And whether it's this or the tile, the image is mm -hmm. really beautiful. And I love the colors. I always mm -hmm. say that, but I like a lot of color. And so when it comes to home decor, this one is, again, going to be one that you're going to stop and say, who is that? If you're the person, perhaps, that's not Catholic. Right. Who is that beautiful woman? Can you explain? Yeah and it does open up that door of opportunity. And along with this, we want to tell you to check out the special offer from EWTN Religious Catalog. With a simple click on your PC or smartphone, Holy Reminders can be on their way to your doorstep. Now with free standard shipping on orders of $75 or more. From the EWTN Religious Catalog website, buy Catholic, shop EWTNRC.com. We want to show you next the St. Peter the Apostle statue. As we know, St. Peter is the rock upon whom Christ built his church. And this statue measures 10 inches. And as many of you know as well, that St. Andrew the Apostle was St. Peter's brother. And since we are celebrating National Brothers Day this week on May 24th, we have a special prayer to St. Andrew holy card that comes free along with this statue. So to continue along with this theme of St. Peter, our first pope, we wanted to show you a book that we've shown you before on the catalog show, but it's been very popular. It's, been, it's a fantastic book that talks about how St. Peter, is his bones are buried beneath St. Peter's Basilica. And you can learn all about that in this book, The Fisherman's Tomb. Author John O'Neill presents the true story of the Vatican's secret search. In 1939, a team of workers beneath the Vatican unearthed an early Christian grave. This surprising discovery launched a secret quest that would last decades, a quest to discover the long-lost burial place of the Apostle Peter. The incredible and sometimes shocking story of the 75-year-old search and its key players has never been fully told until now. This quest would pit one of the 20th century's most talented archaeologists against top Vatican insiders. You know, what I love about this book, Rebecca, is that, and, and the fact that we have this discovery of finding St. Peter's bones beneath the Vatican is the fact mm -hmm. that it's almost as if Matthew 16, 18 became literally true in the sense of you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. And that now, you know, what do we have? Directly beneath the high altar in St. Peter's Basilica, wow. hundreds of people, I don't know how far, is the burial place and the bones of St. Peter, our first pope. It's really, really beautiful. Wow, tremendous story, yes. Mm -hmm. And to learn more about it in that great book, mm -hmm. that would be a wonderful read. Yes, definitely. Summer readings coming along too. Yes, so summer reading. Grab some of these books by the beach or at the lake or yeah. wherever, where you like to <laughs> relax and learn more about our first pope. So moving along here, we wanted to show you this Prayers Before Meals Last Supper plaque. This plaque features the Prayer Before Meals with a picture of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. This eight inch by 10 inch solid wood plaque is hewn and crafted by woodworkers. And since this rustic plaque is made from real wood, each piece may have minor cracks, knots, or other imperfections that add character and authenticity. Really unique. Mm -hmm. I love that look. Yeah. So many people have that style in their homes, too. Natural art. 
carvings, all of that's beautiful. Exactly, yeah, this would be a great, a great addition to your home and especially to your dining room. Yeah, I love sure, it. Right? Mm -hmm. So next we wanted to show this book, this new book from EWTN Publishing called The Spark of Faith. Faith, of course, is essential to our spiritual growth. And yet, too often, good Catholics hold misconceptions about faith's meaning or role, misconceptions that can lead to spiritual stagnation. And so, in this book, Father Wojciech Giertyk, a Dominican priest, theologian of the papal household, corrects prominent errors and clearly articulates what faith is, how it works, and how it may expand or wither within one's soul. Father Giertyk's moving and practical reflections bring ancient wisdom to, to bear on our modern age, teaching what it really means to have and grow in faith. And here's a bookmark brief in which Father Giertyk discusses his book with Doug Keck. This book is about living faith, uh, using the virtue of faith that we've received at baptism, which enable, and as we make acts of faith, this enables us to touch God and mm -hmm. to open us to the power of God. And so the entire spiritual life has to have as a foundation the engaging with God through faith which is followed by hope and charity. So Rebecca, we wanted to show everyone today a couple more books that are fitting for National Brotherhood Day coming up. The first one is one that we've shown before on EWTN Religious Catalog. It's The Manual for Men, written by the Most Reverend Thomas J. Olmsted, who was the Bishop of the Diocese of Phoenix, Arizona. This manual is for those men who battle daily for their souls and for their families. It is often a struggle to shed the sins and vices the world offers men, but it's a battle that men must fight and win. There is a battle for our souls, our families, our world, and our Lord calls men to fight. Are you ready to answer the call? And we have this other book, Saints and Other Powerful Men in the Church. Bob and Penny Lord of Happy Memory track the lives of 12 men who have said yes to Jesus and defended their lives to him. It includes stories of Saints Anthony, Francis, Augustine, John Vianney, Padre Pio, John Bosco, Peregrine, Maximilian Colby, and more. What a fantastic book this would be. They Rebecca. are very special people, Bob mm -hmm. and Penny Lord, and we have yeah. another one of their books right here, yeah. as a matter of fact. This is Saints and Other Powerful Women in the Church. And in this edition, Bob and Penny updated the chapter on Mother Angelica, and they've also added a chapter on St. Catherine Drexel. The book also includes stories of St. Teresa of Avila, Therese of Lisieux, Rita of Cascia, St. Bernadette, Mother Teresa, Catherine of Siena, Claire of Assisi, and much, much more. You can be sure that this would be a book that would touch your heart. Hopefully you're watching here on the network, Bob and Penny Lord present, and you're able to see the firsthand knowledge of this beautiful couple, personal friends of Mother Angelica, and the things that they write are so inspirational. They come from a deep faith in our Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's uh it's, it's so uh, terrific to see a man and woman who were so holy, loved each other so much, and most importantly, they loved our Lord and they loved His church and they loved our saints. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they always said at the end of their show, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> and they wanted everyone. And you believed everyone. them. Absolutely. You believed them. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we have some other lovely gifts to tell you about. St. Rita's Feast Day is this week on May the 22nd. St. Rita is the patron of lost and impossible causes and also of mothers of sickness, of marital problems, and abuse. And so we have here this beautiful DVD program, and it would be an opportunity to be able to learn more about St. Rita. Perhaps you don't know her story, the story of her as being someone that does help in hopeless situations. In this epic, epic film, you're going to find out all the kinds of things she was put against in life, the turbulent background of the 15th century Italy, the story of forgiveness and faith, of virtue. It's an inspiring tribute to this brave and saintly woman. The program was filmed on location in Italy, and as you can see, it's a great program. We'll let you check it out in this clip. Get killed? 
Run, Rita, run! Yes, He'll let's kill go! You. He's coming! Hurry! Run! And when you get this DVD, you have your choice of Italian with English subtitles, the English dubbed version, or Spanish subtitles. It also includes a special 16-page collector's booklet. The running time is 3 hours and 20 minutes. And speaking of St. Rita, we also have the St. Rita Little Drop statue. This is a cute little statue of Rita of Kasha with simple features and smooth edges for those small hands. It measures three inches high and it would be a great gift for a young person who wants to know more about the saints. Perhaps you're reading the stories of the saints, the lives of the saints to your children. And it would be great to say, this is St. Rita, and this is what she did. This is how she had a life full of heroic virtue. And maybe you want to take St. Rita all the way to nap time or bedtime. We have the St. Rita pillowcase. Now talk about living a prayerful life. This is called Lay Me Down to Sleep in Prayer. Absolutely. And this is beautiful. Now look at the unique features of this pillowcase. You have the picture of St. Rita on the left and a prayer on the right. Pillowcases are a great way for people of all ages to learn Catholic prayers, and they serve as a reminder to begin and end each day with a prayerful heart. This is poly cotton. It's machine washable. The pillowcase fits both standard and queen size pillows, and this is quite a large pillow, and it's fitting absolutely beautiful. And so many people would like to have this on the bed and would say, don't get it messed up. We just mm -hmm. want to look at it. We want to pray having this before us. And, and I'm sure a lot of moms would probably say, please don't mess it up. But it yeah. is machine washable, and it would be great. It is a pillow, but don't sleep on it. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Everything beautiful. We say, don't touch, don't touch. But anyway, this is a wonderful gift for people that have that devotion to St. Rita. And remember, Mother Angelica was Rita Rizzo. Yes. And so that's yeah. another tie-in to Mother Angelica. And so she no doubt was and named look, after St. Rita. They even were in the exact same habit, too. Oh, there you are. <laughs> well, we have more of St. Rita now in case you're wanting to pray to her, ask her intercession. We have the St. Rita gift set. This set includes a three and a half inch figure of St. Rita. It has the matching holy card. The box that it comes in is great. It gives a brief history of the saint. It includes a prayer for her intercession. You'll see the prayer right here. And as we know, as we learn about the saints, such as St. Rita, we can see that God can work through anyone, including you and me, for his glory. So let's ask for God to work through us every day of our lives. And now get your pen and paper ready as we're going to recap all of these wonderful items you've seen today. So make sure you have the pen ready and we'll tell you how you can order. The Our Lady of Perpetual Help artwork is item number CT006 for $220. The Our Lady of Perpetual Help statue is item number V0314 for $198. The Our Lady of Perpetual Help Glass Bead Rosary is item number 538DF for $40. The Our Lady of Perpetual Help Gold Filled Metal is item number 567GF for $142. The Our Lady of Perpetual Help Sterling Silver Metal is item number 567SS for $59. The St. Gerard and Our Lady of Perpetual Help Medal is item number S3593 for $34. The Our Lady of Palestine Stone Tile is item number TS477 for $20. The Our Lady of Palestine Framed Art is item number 477D2 for $73. The St. Peter the Apostle Statue is item number 62992 for 
The Fisherman's Tomb book is item number T1863 for $22. The Prayer Before Meals Last Supper plaque is item number 7737B for $33. The new book from EWTN Publishing, The Spark of Faith, is item number 80688 for $17.95. Bishop Thomas J. Olmsted's book, The Manual for Men, is item number 2648 for $30. The Saints and Other Powerful Men in the Church book is item number 3093 for $18. The Saints and Other Powerful Women in the Church is item number 3085 for $17. The St. Rita Little Drop statue is item number 11256 for $11. The St. Rita feature film DVD is item number 2107D for $25. The St. Rita pillowcase is item number 7277 for $16. The St. Rita gift set is item number 40619 for $11. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit us at EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Again, that's EWTNRC.com or call us at 1-800-854-6316. Visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. Next time on EWTN Religious Catalog, we will show you a St. Michael cold cast bronze statue, several memorial frames, a St. Benedict cross garden stone, as well as other items for your yard and garden. Here are the airtimes for EWTN Religious Catalog. Thanks again, everyone, for joining Rebecca and I again on the Religious Catalog Show. We had a great time with you today. We hope that you have a blessed week, and we'll be back with you next week on EWTN's Religious Catalog. Bye.